hooked up again. I think this is sixth hookup. Oh, he's going that way. We've been a little landing challenge today. Not not our fault. The fish just been jumping off the hooks. But ooh, he's way over there. He's way over there. Oh, I gotta get on this. Uh, oh, nice fish. Nice yeah, fish. He's a nice fish. Hang on. Let me. I don't have the net. You're on your own. I'm just I'm the cameraman. Well, that's a nice fish. Oh, he's beautiful. Beautiful. That's my dad's dinner. Oh, dad's eating good tonight. Mm. Hot dog. Uh, let me get this rod back in the holder. Oh my gosh, nice on the fish. metal head. Oh, that's a chunk. Oh, he's got a nice tail too. He's been around a while. Uh oh, Wes is deploying the bat. Get him, Wes. That's a real trout. Yeah. We landed a couple little guys. <laughs> Ow! Give me a whole body shake. That's got that double hook. Don't don't poke yourself. Nice. Oh yeah. Collins Lake, guys. Woo. Cool. Wes is hooked up on the pink worm here. <laughs> I'm kind of scared because last time we were hooked up on the pink worm, we tangled three rods. But I don't think that fish was ever hooked on anything we had in the water. This fish seems to be compliant. I don't think this is a big one. I don't know. A lot of head shaking going on there. If he's decent, keep him for my dad. Oh, nah, we'll let him go. He's a pup. Oh, no, keep him. Keep him. That's a good one. Whoa. Hey, over there. Bass fishing, right? You're going home. Oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> wow, he's not, not anything compared to the other one, but that's a nice fish. Collins Lake, guys. Pink worm. He's swimming upstream like a steelhead. Good job, Wes. Awesome. Awesome. And we just had another bite coming in here on an orange metalhead. So they are biting. Well, there you go, guys. It is game on at Collins Lake. Uh, Wes and I, we brought the boat up here today, put the boat in a slip, and decided to go out and do a little scout and see if they were biting. And uh, clearly, they are biting. This lake is totally full of fish. We landed nine trout today, a nice bass, and uh, we weren't trying too hard. We were just kind of making the rounds, seeing where the fish were. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the bite, but uh, we're ready to get started with our guidance season out here. It is gonna be an exceptional spring. Let me show you what we got these fish on. I'm gonna throw these guys back in the box. My dad wanted some fish for dinner, or we would have let these guys go, but we kept, uh, kept five nice fish, and let me show you these baits. So we basically caught fish on uh, soft plastics and flies today. We did really well on this. We did really well on an orange metal head right there, 1.8 miles an hour. We were fishing this right in the middle of the boat, right out the back, 10 feet deep on the hybrid lead core rig. So the orange metal head caught several fish on that. Um, it was about a tie with the orange metal head and the, uh, the orange trigger minnow right there. Now this trigger minnow, I've got this one rigged up with just a little tiny weight, and we were top lining this one back about 200 feet. This caught fish, we were also running a trigger minnow on the starboard, or on the port side, excuse me, um, down about 10 feet, and that was working really well. That and the orange metal head were probably the best offerings. But last but, you know, last but not least, was my pet pink worm. I'm starting to doubt the pink worm for a minute. We were we were trolling this. Actually, when we came into this cove here, we were trolling it, and finally a pink worm went off, but it wasn't the pink worm. We'd snag something anyway. We snagged all three lines on a nice fish, but we got that straightened out. Got the pink worm back in the water and ended up catching a really nice fish on that, which is kind of a funny story because Wes had just caught a couple and we were kind of regrouping and I looked down and the rod looked a little funny, it looked a little bent, and all of a sudden a fish jumped right behind the boat. So that one was on the pink worm, we didn't even see him strike. So bottom line is this guys, water stained, temperature's good, low 50s here. Um, what you wanna do, you wanna keep your bait or your, your trolled lures top 15 feet of the water column, I personally, I would not go any more than 10 feet deep. I'd go from the surface to 10 feet deep. Orange was a really solid color. Um, I'd stay away from the spoons right now. We ran a spoon for a long time. They did not want spoons. It's all about the soft plastics 
and the trolling flies. Trolling flies and soft plastics and Collins Lake. I know, I sound like a broken record. If you wanna jump on the FHS pontoon boat and learn about how to fish Collins Lake, how to trout fish in general, while reeling in some big, beautiful lass and rainbows, check out our guiding calendar at fhsfishing.com. Um, hook up with Wes and I, we're gonna be out here at least until May 1st, maybe a little further than that. We've got some holes in the calendar, but we're getting pretty booked up. So if you want to jump aboard the boat, talk trout, learn trout, catch trout, check out that guiding calendar, lock your spot down now. If you're coming out here by yourself and you're looking for any of our tackle, whether it's a hybrid lead core system, my soft plastic um, uh, trout tricks worms, the trigger minnows, or the trolling flies, get on over to fhsfishing.com, pick out what you want, throw it into that cart, check out, and Wes will have that gear to you really quickly, really efficient shipping system, and uh, you're gonna be yelling fish on. Anyway, that's all I got to say now. We gotta clean up this boat, I gotta chop up those fish, and I gotta get over to Dad's house. Thanks for all the support, and I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys.